Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from First Stone 27 Hey, I see we're in the same group. Norfolk area naval spouses, and I was wondering if you can do me a favor. Military spouses are supposed to help each other at all times. Considering my husband is currently underway and I don't drive at all, I was wondering if you can take me and my kids to appointments at Langley. I live in Norfolk. I cannot pay for gas or give you anything at this time, so if you could do that and not expect anything, that would be great. I see that you have kids too, and if you don't have a big enough car, you might want to find them a babysitter considering I can't leave my four children with anyone. If you have car seats, that will be great, so I don't have to bring mine. Spouses have already told me no, so if you could not be that rude, I would appreciate it. Let me know as soon as possible. This seems a little backwards. If you're supposed to help one another, then why are you trying to tell the person you're asking help from to offset their kids somewhere else to make room for yours? Not to mention the other stuff and acting kind of demanding about it. I feel like at the end, if anybody's being rude here, it's the one basically making the demands. This next one is by Lady Lachi. We have just moved into this house and there was a ready-built chicken coop in the garden. They had a fair amount of chickens and it's all properly gated and covered. Everything is included and the buyer will dismantle the structure and take it away. 400 pounds. Why is it that the buyer needs to dismantle the structure? It, it's time and time again I keep seeing these posts where people actually want physical labor done under the guise of actually giving somebody something for a fee. I don't know anybody who wants to pay 400 pounds to perform labor. This next one is from Juju Patoots. Huge bag of velvet and other fabric remnants. I'm running a little late in the rain and Friday traffic, but hope to get there between 1 and 3 p.m. Thank you so much. Fabric received, thank you. One thing though, it would have been nice to know that the bag was so heavy. After driving all that way in gridlock traffic in the rain, I almost had to leave the bag on your porch because I couldn't lift it. I had to drag it and then move my vehicle in order to get it inside. Most unpleasant. Just saying. But you got it for free, so do you really have a right to complain? How much would it have set you back if you actually had to go to the store and buy all of the stuff that you got? I swear, these beggars never wanting to do a little bit of labor for a free item, it always gets me. This next one is by Lorenzo. $50, Sleep Maker Pearl Firm Queen Size. Hello, is this still available? Yes, it's available. What's the best prices? She's moving back home with her two young boys and one on the way with no father's help. Otherwise, she's sleeping on the floor. Sorry, but times are so hard and rents are overpriced. Please, if you can help her out. I mean, they have it listed for $50. I'd say that seems pretty damn low for a mattress. I don't know how much lower you can get unless you're trying to get it for free. This next one is from Taj Fitness. I'm looking for a mom looking for part-time work. I'm in need of someone who can come watch my six-month-old daughter in my home for four to five hours a day. If you have young kids not in school, you can bring them with you. No sick kids allowed. I work from home and I'm looking for someone to help from about 11 to 3, Monday through Friday. Hours could vary slightly, but never earlier than 9 a.m. or after 3.30 p.m. Could possibly turn into extra money on the weekends occasionally. Must be comfortable being on camera as we have cameras throughout the house. I will be paying $100 a week. If interested, please send me a message so we can set up a time to meet and see if you would be a good fit for our family. Would you do that? Would you go and work part-time hours to only collect $100 a week? I guarantee you, you would say no, so if that's the case, you need to reevaluate what you would pay. This next one is by Alpha Productions. Video editor for YouTube Wildlife Channel. I'm looking for five top editors who meet the following criteria. Editing and motion graphics, $1 per video. I know it's less, but I'll increase the payment as we move further in the project, and you will get a bonus later on. 
You must have an experience in such a niche as you would have to research the video yourself. Like the video between 8 and 10 minutes, 7 videos per week, example channels here and here. I'd like to see samples of work you've done before. Are you okay with the price from the description? If not, don't apply. Did you add samples? If not, don't apply. Do you have over 90% job success? If not, don't apply. Do you have earned more than $100? If not, don't apply. $100 fixed price? Intermediate. I'm looking for a mix of experience and value. It seems like what you're looking for is value, value, value and saying fuck experience because paying that low and then wanting so much, you're really kidding yourself if you think you're going to pull that off. This next one is from Luca Nicoletti. Looking for someone to draw my tattoo. 21 Pilots had a song that really spoke to me when I was going through some tough times. Tie a noose around your mind, loose enough to breathe fine, tie it to a tree. Tell it you belong to me. This ain't news, it's a leash, and I have news for you. You must obey me. I'm not sure how I'd want it depicted as a single still image, but if anyone with a creative mind could help, I'd like it to be realism styled. I'll pay for the design if I want it. In other words, do free work for me, and if I like your work, I might pay for it. This next one is by Mission Signature 166. Housekeeper wanted, employed 27 hours a week. We're a community of five households, family and friends, working together, one maid. Tasks include cleaning, laundry and ironing. We're now looking for a new employee. The gross monthly wage for 27 hours a week is 1100 euros. If you're interested, we'll be happy to send you a PM. Please feel free to share. I feel like that pay is just not going to cut the amount of work you're going to ask somebody to be doing for five households. At least if I understood this post right, it seems like this person is going to be working for five different families. This next one is from No Conversation 1072. Every year me and my nephew go trick or treating in the neighborhood off of here. Anybody that lives there, kindly park your cars in the driveway so it makes it easier for us to park. Last year I had to parked in front of somebody's driveway. I don't like to, but I will again because parking there is ridiculous. We go every year and the parking situation keeps getting worse. And please, have big candy bars. Last year we were only getting little ones. Thank you for your cooperation. Looking forward to the big candy this year. While the title of this was, this has to be a joke, I can kind of see the joke, but after reading about all the different things that choosing beggars try to do to get what they want, I wouldn't put it past a choosing beggar to actually post something like this. This next one is by Snozberry Pie. An Amazon delivery driver dropped off a neighbor's package on our front porch, which doesn't bother me. It happens all the time. The driver took two snacks from our basket, which also didn't bother me. What bothered me was when they opened one of the snacks, must have not liked it, and proceeded to throw it in our front yard, getting chips everywhere. It amazes me that you put something out, they took it, it wasn't even really entitled for them because they delivered the package to the wrong house, but then they litter on your property on top of it. I would say I wonder how much more disrespectful they could get, but I don't think I would want to know. And our final one is from, I work in fashion, blah. Hi, I am new from Western New York. I'm not an official writer. Suddenly I'm being instructed to write two books, hoping to find a co-writer. I'm currently homeless and broke. Christian, sci-fi, fiction, futuristic. Books will be called Eve of Destruction. How and why are you being instructed to write two books? I apologize if I'm misreading the situation, but this feels like a scam. Like, you need money to get started or something. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not asking for anything. I'm stating that I can't afford to pay by the page or word. The books came to me every night in my dreams. They came from God. He wants them written. He's giving me sections, but I still require the right co-writer. First book follows my character from birth to a fight scene. Second follows fight to the world ends and beyond. Oh, so you're asking for free labor. 
No, part of the sales. I already know somewhere to advertise the books. They often sell 10,000 or more a night. That's a lot to ask from someone, with no guarantees. I hope you find someone or a way to complete your project. I know. Please understand that selling 10,000 books a night is not something that happens. I've seen it happen on this station many, many times. No, it doesn't. I've worked in publishing for 30 years. Even the Bible isn't selling that much, so please don't get scammed. If you want to write a book or two, write them. But please don't ask someone else to do this with you on the promise of 10,000 books a day in sales. One could argue if they're getting the books delivered to them from God, then wouldn't he give them the words that need to be written in the book? So why would they even need a co-writer? To some degrees, it does seem like a scam because the only place and the only time I would think like 10,000 books can be moved in a night is if they were all pre-ordered or something. I don't know, I'm not a big reader though, so... Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.